Hello everyone, welcome to HealthGIS channel. In the previous video, you learned how to create various maps using uh, data that were already in ESRI format like shapefile or feature classes. But often the data that you get from external sources are not in GIS data format. The most common example in, is uh, CSV or Excel spreadsheet that contain location or geographic information. So in this lab, we would like to learn how to prepare and make a map based on CSV or Excel file. Uh, we need to join a CSV or Excel file with geographic data for mapping. We will also learn how to create a map based on when you have a categorical variable or when you want to have a map, uh, a 3D maps for 3D visualization. So let's dive in. The first thing you have to do is to Google NCI, which, uh, which stands for National Cancer Institute. Uh, for South Carolina data and then uh, select the first link South Carolina state cancer profile and in this website you can also change the state so but I'm gonna use uh, the data for South Carolina so they have uh, provided information or demographic information uh, information about the screening and risk factor, incidence of cancer, and mortality of cancer that you might find some of them useful for your projects. So, but I'm going to just focus on incidence of, of uh, cancer in South Carolina. And we would like to get the age adjusted incidence rate by cancer for all stages uh, from 2017 to 2021 for all cancer sites. So I'm going to make this, keep this very simple and then click on table. So uh, here again, you can say, okay, so I'm going to have the information at the county level. Uh, you can have it for all cancer, all races, both gender and all uh, ages. And uh, after that, click on export data. So when you click on export data, as you notice, so the information is at the for CSV dot CSV and CSV files or comma separated values are simple format that are used to store tabular data. So uh, the first thing that you have to do when you have a CSV file is that you need to clean the data, which means that you have to remove all of this unnecessary information. Okay, so it has to be in tabulated format. So I'm going to remove this. So I also don't need the information for South Carolina or the entire US, right? So I am going to, can I make this smaller? So I am going to remove the South Carolina, the aggregated data and also US. So this information are not necessary. So I just want to have everything at the county level for 46 counties in South Carolina. So I also have to remove all of this unnecessary information. So if you remember, we already mentioned that you have to avoid spatial characters when you have a file name and also for the column name, okay? So FIPS is okay, county is okay. So this one, for example, I just wanna call this rural underscore urban. So because sometimes when ArcGIS cannot uh, read the file, the entire column will be null. So it will return null value. So to avoid that, I just want to uh, prepare it rural urban. So age adjusted instance, that's too much information. We have a limitation in characters name for the field. So I'm going to call this AA age adjusted underscore incidence. And it's per 100,000, so you have to remember that when you create a map uh, for the unit of the incidence rate, okay? So I don't need the lower confidence interval or upper or confidence interval rank and this information, but average, let's see what is this, average annual count is fine, recent trend is okay, and I don't need this information. So everything looks good to me and it's ready to be imported into uh, ArcGIS. So I have to save this 
So save it in a uh, lab tree uh, folder, okay? Which was, so I'm gonna create a new uh, folder here. I'm gonna call this tree underscore CSV prep. So do not use space, do not use any spatial characters. So the name is fine. So I'm, I can also call this um, cancer underscore SC and it was comma separated value or CSV. So it's fine. Close this and open up ArcGIS Pro, create a new map. And I'm gonna call this CSV prep. And I'm going to save it in lab tree folder. Okay, okay, and okay. All right, so now I need to load the CSV file from map menu, add data uh, here, GS lab, CSV cancer sc under dot CSV, okay. Open up the attribute table, make sure that everything has been uh, correctly loaded otherwise you will get null values okay so it looks great so but what is the problem can I make a map based on CSV file no the problem is that I need to have something that has location information okay so or geospatial administrative boundaries so I need to have a file uh, like for example there are so many uh, sources that I can get the uh, administrative boundaries at the county level for South Carolina that then I can join this to that one for make a map. There are a variety of sources but one easy source for us is using the SVI file that we downloaded for the last lab right so I'm gonna go to uh, lab number two and then I think it was here SVI 2020 and then okay so here is the map that I had. I have to join this table, this CSV file, to this uh, shape file, right? Or to this feature class, or GIS file in general. So in order to join or append these two separate files, CSV and uh, shape file or feature class, so I need to find a column that is common uh, between these two, okay? So it carries exactly the same information. So you may say county is call common, right? But it's not. Why? Because here it's uh, it has, for example, I don't know, Union County, right? County six. But here, if you open up the attribute table and then look at here, it's not Union County six. It's just Union. It has to be exactly the same. So the answer is using FIPS. So FIPS, as I already mentioned, is a, a unique number for all of the counties across the United States. Okay, so each county has a unique name. For example, Union County here is 45087. And also here, if you look at the Union County, uh, 45087. For all of the counties, each county has a unique FIPS. So the name of the uh, Call, the name of the column or the header is not important. The information within that column is important. So these two, ST, C, N, T, Y, or FIFS are the same. So uh, you can use either of them, right? So that was the first one. The first problem was to find a column that is common between these two, info, uh, these two data sets, which is FIFS. The second problem that you need to solve is that the data type must be the same okay so otherwise when you join it you will get error or uh, the result of join is null value for the entire column right so um, here if you look at the csv file the fips the data type is long integer right type is long or long integer you cannot change the data type like by clicking you have to create a new field with the same data type and then copy and paste information. So here is long integer, but here FIPS is text, right? So I need to create an, an empty field in this shape file. So I'm gonna create an empty field here. If you field, if you click on add field, I'm gonna call this FIPS2. 
and I'm gonna have it as a long integer, so which is already in long integer, right? And then I can close it and save it, or I can, so let me close this one, save. So I created a new field called FIPS2, uh, and uh, I am going to, now I have to copy from here to FIPS number two, right? So I have to right click on FIPS. As you can see, a, a new field has been created. Right click on that and then select calculate field. And here I can tell that FIPS2 equals to FIPS, right? But do not type anything. Just use the, uh, the this panel. Double click on that. FIPS2 is FIPS. Apply and OK. So what happened is that I have FIPS, but now it's long integer. And also for the CSV file, FIPS is a long integer. So now I am able to join this information. So as you can see, the last column for this uh, shape file is FIPS2, right? So I'm going to add all of the information or, uh, of cancer information to this uh, shape file. So how can I do that? Right click on this shape file because everything has to be joined to the shape file, not to this because it doesn't have location, right? I have to join it to this. And then uh, join and relate, add join. So I'm going to say that from this SVI file, which is the geospatial data, so select FIPS2 because it was long integer. And from the CSV file, select FIPS, right? Because it was FIPS and FIPS2 are the same. So click OK. So now what happens? You can see that all of this information you know, after FIPS2, rural, urban, uh, age adjusted, incidence rate, count, recent trend, all of the information has been added, right? Now that I have everything here, so it's very simple, right? I can simply make a map based on cancer information, symbology, and then I can go to the graduate color, and then I can, the field is going to be cancer, right? Age adjusted incidence. So I was able to create easily, uh, make a map based on CSV file, right? So the rest of it very simple, add north zero, scale bar, legend. So just make sure that this is based on pair 100,000. So when you fix it, age adjusted incidence, and then make sure you mention per 100,000, because that was a unit, right? So another thing that you can do is, so let me have this map and go to the catalog pane and then duplicate this map. So I'm going to create a map based on, uh, there were some categorical variable, if you remember. So I'm going to create a map, map one, based on categorical variable. If you look at the attribute table, I had, for example, trend in the incidence. It was stable, it was falling, it was increasing or not. So I'm going to make a map to see uh, based on this categorical variable, it's not a quantitative. So in that case, we have to use unique numbers because uh, that's for categorical. If you have a couple of categories, you have to use unique values. So how to do that is very simple. Uh, go to the symbology tab, and here it shouldn't be graduate. It has to be unique value. And unique value for, I think it was trend, right? Recent trend. So here you can see I have falling, somewhere I have stable, all other values, we don't have any information here, so I can easily remove it. Probably from here, select and then delete on your keyboard, press the delete. So you have recent trend falling or stable. So that's how we can create a map based on categorical variable. So the next map that I'm going to create is 3D map. So I'm going to create a 3D map of, uh, so let me fix, fix this, it doesn't look good. So uh, I'm going to make a map that higher values shows higher elevation. Okay, so I'm going to make a 3D maps for this. And also let me 
fix the format label. Perfect. So how to do that? I like pane map from map. I'm gonna du duplicate map. So we're gonna have map two. All right. All right. So I have map two, right? So I'm gonna create a three D map that the higher elevation represents higher uh, incidence of the cancer in South Carolina. So for this purpose, you have to go to the view tab and then select convert to local scene. The next step is that in this uh, environment, you have to again select the, this layer. So when you select it, something will show up here. So let me select this one. You can see that I have another layer, feature layer. So select the feature layer. And here I'm going to extrude uh, one of the fields, right? So extrusion, I'm going to say that get the height information is height. Okay. So when you select this, so now which field I am getting the height information. So you can get it from any other field. I'm going to have the base and the elevation from the same in field. Okay, so you can have it from another field, doesn't matter. But I'm going to get it from the same information, AA or age adjusted. So the unit is meters. Maybe that's why you cannot see. This is now 3D, but you cannot see it maybe because the unit is meter. So now I'm going to increase it, for example, to miles. So oh, miles is too much. Uh, maybe a kilometer. All right, so kilometer seems better. So here, uh, but the problem here is that I need to rotate this map, right? It doesn't look uh, much 3D. So how can I rotate this map? Here we can see this ring, right? So if you click on uh, this full control, now for the inner ring, you can, if you select that, you can create like a vertical rotation, right? So if I select this and now I can create the vertical uh, 3D map, okay? So maybe if I, uh, let's, let's try another field. So I'm going to use something like percentage, right? Or something like uh, estimated poverty not based on kilometer, maybe meters. That, that, that's much better. So uh, estimated uh, poverty. So here, for example, you can see that. So you can see that the base and the height can be different. Okay, so the base is based on incident, the height is something else. Maybe you can also change this here based on the EPOV, doesn't matter. So it, they can be different. So you can get the height from another field, doesn't matter, E, P, O, V, right? So now the height and the base both are the same. So here we have higher poverty, so that's the number, it's not the percentage, estimated number of the people under poverty.